the sessions to demonstrate how to access the general ledger. There's quite a few different ways that you can, you know, go ahead and find a, a GL account that you're looking for. This is really more so to support the month end process um, of reconciliation, your accounts. So very simply, depending on your role, um, but more than likely you will have a button on your main menu bar that's called reports. Um, everything is somewhat categorized for you by module. All of your typical financial reports, your general ledger, trial balance, your income statement, balance sheet, so on and so forth, will live under the financial button. So when you hover over it to the far right, it'll just pop up all of the different options that are available to you. So very simply, we're going to go down the list just so you can see that there's so many different ways for you to be able to find the details for a particular account. So I'm going to click on the income statement and we're going to let this load. <laughs> and remember the wonderful thing about NetSuite is that it's super fluid um, and all of your records are interrelated and you can get all the way to the very root transaction record. Um, starting at the very top or the, the, the financial report itself. So let's say we want to analyze our cost of sales. I decide I want to look at my PPV account. I just need to start by double clicking. And if I only double click, of course, on that one GL account, the only details that I will see will be for that one GL account. So I could start my analysis per se from here within the screen itself, the Windows browser, or of course, remember, if you want to, you can export everything just by clicking the very, um, the Excel button at the very bottom of your screen, just kind of where I'm highlighting to the bottom right. So again, I started from the window of report button, navigated down to financial to the income statement, and I'm able to drill down from here. Similarly, I could go here and I could select the balance sheet. We'll let that load, give it a second. And again, if there's a specific account that I'm looking for, I want to look at my inventory and run a reconciliation. All I need to do is double click and it will still take me to the general ledger, but it'll only take me to that one particular GL account. So you're not having to sift and sort through the entire general ledger to find the one account that you're looking for. And it helps to avoid having to go to the general ledger, export it all into Excel and being able to find your specific GL account that way, or having to customize the general ledger just to grab the one account. Okay. And I'm going to go through that as well. So again, direct from the income statement, direct from the balance sheet, you can get to exactly what it is that you're looking for. And of course you could also go to the trial balance itself. And once you become familiar with your brand new chart of accounts, um, there's no reason why you won't be able to just again, come here, double click, and be able to grab the details that ha, huh, I was too eager. <laughs> One second. I just want to look at the details. So from the trial balance, actually double click on the debit amount and it'll bring you to the transactions. Okay. And then I'm going to hit back to summary and it's going to take me back to the trial balance itself. Okay. Now, again, you can go to reports financial and you can grab the general ledger. But again, this is going to give you the entire general ledger, all of the GL accounts that have activity. Okay. So it's going to be long. It's going to be a lot to look at. And if it serves your purpose for what you're reconciling, go for it. If you want to go ahead and export the entire general ledger, then absolutely do it. Can you come in here and do a control find? without question, but you won't be able to only export the one GL account. And that's really what I wanted to highlight. If you're just looking and trying to find a transaction, then great. Come in here through the GL, take a look at the account that you're looking for, double click on the record itself 
and off you go. But if you know that you need to do some offline work and you're going to be exporting, then I would recommend either using the trial balance or the balance sheet or the income statement and just grabbing that one particular um, account that you might be looking for. Now, again, you could learn how to customize this report. And I could try to put a filter on account so that it only gives me one in particular that I'm looking for. But the problem with doing something like that and what I want you to understand is if you look here, every time you add a filter or a parameter to the general ledger, you're going to create a custom version, which means you're no longer actually using the out of the box general ledger and it'll become one of your saved reports and you'd have to find it through here instead of following the native tab menu bar, sorry. So my personal preference and opinion is to not do it this way. If possible, I would just say go through financial income statement or the balance sheet, grab what you need that way do a control find um, through the general ledger if you're just doing a bird's eye view or reconciliation um, of a particular account. But that's really, you know, the extent of what it takes to be able to, um, you know, find the actual data that you're looking for at month end itself um, when it comes to the general ledger. It's not complicated. It's not really um, anything that requires too much training. It's just a matter of becoming familiar with your brand new chart of accounts. And of course, you will already know if they're income statement or balance sheet accounts. So it's really a matter of just coming in here and fiddling with it and just, you know, practicing with the with the double down and the export and making your way through the transaction so you can do whatever reconciliation um, uh, process that you would normally do, whatever validations and checks you would do on the accounts themselves. So that's really what I needed to show you with respect to um, you know, reviewing the general ledger and being able to perform you know, a month-end um, jail account reconciliation.